Last month, 4 KHS seniors traveled down to Columbus, Ohio to tour the National Veterans Memorial and Museum, learning about the history and understanding and appreciating the armed forces. The museum includes 14 alcoves that highlight important themes in veterans' journeys and personal stories that reflect their challenges, sacrifices, and achievements. Like the museum's goal to honor and positively impact the lives of veterans, their families, and communities through sharing the veterans' experience, we hope to honor all veterans. The crew was fortunate enough to interview four veterans as well as a spouse of a veteran. By listening to these veterans share their stories, we hope to spread awareness and recognize those who served on this Veterans Day. Ben Dawson, I, was an, I got out as an E-4. I was in the United States Air Force Security Service from 1967 to 1971 and went to Italy uh, where I was on a ground site uh, listening in on the Russians. And then I went to Vietnam and flew aboard what they call C-47 Goonie Bird, doing airborne uh, radio direction finding. My name is Gary Hensley. I'm a sergeant in the United States Marine Corps. Four years active duty, then I got out and I did six years in the Air National Guard. My name is Bill Butler. I'm a retired colonel from the Army and I served from 1990 until 2017. So uh, I joined the Marine Corps right out of high school. Uh, I was in boot camp during 9-11. Uh, I was with the initial invasion in Iraq in 2003. And then uh, was in the course on September 11th, 2001, when uh, Al Qaeda attacked our country. And, uh, you know, we saw the uh, smoke coming out of the first tower. We were on a break from one of our history classes at the time. And then we watched the second plane hit. And uh, we knew right then and there that wasn't an accident, it was uh, an attack on our country. Shelly Deegan. So, my husband is James Deegan. He is an officer in the Army, and he's currently serving. Um, he's been serving for about 23 years. When a soldier or someone serves in the military, it's not just affecting them, but it affects their whole family. They're often gone for long periods of time, um, often missing birthdays and anniversaries and Valentine's Day and Christmas, but we support him 100%. My name is uh, Colonel Patrick County. I served in the United States Army for 30 years as a military intelligence officer for 26 years and then an armor officer for four of those years. Throughout my career, uh, I had the uh, privilege of leading organizations from 16 soldiers all the way to 2,000 uh, soldiers and civilians. Uh, throughout my career, I deployed to Iraq three times. I deployed to uh, Afghanistan twice and served in the Republic of Korea and just had a, a, a lot of great experiences uh, throughout my, my time in the Army. You know, incredibly rewarding. Um, you, you know, you go to these uh, other countries, whether it's Iraq or Afghanistan, or, you know, other partners in allied countries uh, in Europe or in Africa, and, you know, you see how good we've got it in the United States. I had a lot of great opportunities that I otherwise would not have had. Uh, I served with some of the greatest uh, people that you could ever meet. Uh, I had the chance to experience different cultures. I learned about myself. I learned about the people that I served with. Um, I will tell you I had a chance to experience uh, deploying to different uh, countries. Um, I also had a chance to experience what war was like. But this allowed me more focus. It gave me resiliency, you know, and understanding, uh, you know, just uh, perseverance, grit, uh, and how to be resourceful. Uh, you figure out how to do challenging things and come up with unique uh, solutions to those challenges just because you've had so much thrown at you over the course of, you know, full career like I had the opportunity to experience. So if you're looking for something that's going to challenge you and give you the tools to succeed, it's definitely an option on the table that you know, it can be very beneficial and provides you everything that you need to truly make something of yourself, your career, and give back to the community. Vietnam, I appreciate Vietnam more because of the, uh, the people I worked with and, and what we did over there. And I thought I was doing a good service for the country. There's so many things, ways to serve. Uh, I believe, you know, everybody should look into the military. If not, there's so much community service. I mean, to food pantries. and uh, local areas and uh, Peace Corps. I, I think all uh, young, young people should get involved somehow. Give back to America that's given them so much. 
get involved in something greater than yourself. Not necessarily join the military, but you know, just become an active, engaged member of your community, your school, your neighborhood, your church. Join that organization. You're going to uh, challenge yourself. You're going to gain experiences that will open up uh, career opportunities for you well beyond your service. You know, service to our community is service to our country. Form bonds for life where you'll have uh, families and uh, you'll, you'll meet friends who become family uh, pretty darn quick because of the experiences you share. Serving others is for everybody. Veterans Day is very important to me as a spouse, a military spouse, and also as um, a mother whose son is about to serve. Veterans Day is extremely important for society as a whole to come together collectively to recognize those who have served and have sacrificed and dedicated their, themselves to something you know beyond their control. It's so important that people realize because there aren't that many veterans. I mean, there's a lot of veterans, but as far as people in the service, you know, there's only less than a one percent of people in the service now with the volunteer army and all that. So, so it's important for people to know what what it's all about. There's a opportunity for society as a whole to really understand the veteran community and understand like the disparities that they see at greater, you know, um, lengths than non-veterans. So, if we wanted to really find a way to honor veterans, I think it's, you know, becoming aware. I think often veterans just want their stories to be heard. Um, they just want someone to listen to them. Um, and just saying a simple thank you goes a long way. You know, like they always say, if you see somebody in uniform, uh, uh, thank you for your service. Uh, there's, go to parades or so, and go, there's so many wounded warrior programs or donations and everything. And that, and just to uh, feel, you know, see somebody to, like you're doing, talk to them and all that and learn about them. The trip to the National Veterans Memorial and Museum was a memorable experience, offering a unique opportunity to learn from and connect with veterans. Each story shared served as a powerful reminder that veterans are not just names or pictures in a history book, but they are real people whose sacrifices have shaped our world. Whether it's a parent, spouse, grandparent, sibling, friend, or neighbor, everyone knows a veteran. As we reflect on these stories, it's important to pause and appreciate the veterans in your own community. Take time to thank them, listen to their experiences, and honor their courage. We must continue to remember their sacrifices and share their stories with future generations. Thank you to all the veterans and their families who shared their memories and for their dedication to our country. Their courage and service inspires us to live with greater gratitude and respect.